First of all, I'm laying on my bed because I'm in a fat food coma. Leah comes home, I'm monged out, two day hangover. She goes, do you want to go and get a carvery? I'm thinking, do I want to go shopping now? Or shall we just go for a carvery? Obviously, we're going for a carvery, mate. Toby Carvery, that's our choice. It's a 20 minute drive and you might be thinking, why'd you do that when you've got the Queens and you've got the Fletchers on your doorstep? Let me tell you now, the Queens, we're not paying for frozen food where you can just whack in the oven yourself. Fletchers, need a mortgage for that place. It's about seven pound a bleeding pint. Maybe not that much, but you get the gist. Not in the center of Denton am I paying that. So anyway, we get to Toby Carvery, booked in at 20 to seven. There's a massive queue at the door probably about 10 to 7 by the time we get to our table. Both order refillable drinks. 20 minutes later, it's now 10 past 7. I'm entitled to ask, where's the glasses? Obviously, because it shouldn't take 20 minutes to bring your glass out. Thinking they forgot anyway, I ask her, say, excuse me, love, um, are you bringing our glasses over, please? And she goes, you'll have to wait. So we're like, okay, um, and she's like, there's a back clock. Okay, whatever, mate, all right, sound. At this point, I'm starving, I can smell all the meats being cut. I'm watching people on the tables eating. I'm thinking, shall we go and get the food? But nah, you've got to have something to wash it down with, haven't you? And I'm not waiting for the glasses when I've got my food and then going leaving the food unattended, you know what I mean? So anyway, this waitress comes over again, brings out Leah's veggie option. Before she does that, she puts two cakes on the table, one like either side of us. Leah just went to her, oh, they're not ours, and she went, I know they're not. We both looked at each other like, is she taking the piss? She's got a bit of an attitude there. At this point, Leah's food's there, innit? So I say to her, you go to the carvery now, I'll wait with the fucking glasses. 10 minutes later, she comes with the glasses, puts them on the table. I give her the look and the way I responded, she knew I was pissed off. She starts looking around saying, oh, I'm sorry about your way, I'm sorry about your way. I just got up and walked up, got to the queue myself. I had Pepsi, Leah had Tango for anyone who's interested. Anyway, I get to the queue and I ride off and puff, it's massive. Like I said, I'm starving at this point. Leah, I can see her at the front. I'm oh like, God, this is torture. Gets to me at the front. Luckily, the chefs in there are brilliant. They're a proper laugh. Just, they, I can't big them up enough. So they let me have all my five meats. Just get a standard. You do not need a king size at a carvery. The normal size plate is big enough. There's no need to be a greedy to that and get a king size. There's just no need. So yeah, for a chain place, you'd think they'd be the shit one, but nah. All proper nice homemade roasties, as many homemade Yorkshire puddings as you want. The mash is, I know it's only a mash, but it's belting. Everything is absolutely top notch. I've not got many, well, I've got no food videos because of that woman, waitress. She just ruined it, my vibe and all that, you know what I mean? And I had a bit of beer face still and a bit of anxiety all over the gaffer. I weren't prepared because of how busy it was to start getting my phone out recording and stuff, you know what I mean? But anyway, the staff, the chefs, and the food being so nice, saved it. I forgot about that waitress in the end, and I just enjoyed my meal. And uh, I didn't let her affect me. But if the meal was shit, I'd have been fuming still. I'd have been a Karen. I'd have got the manager, and I'd have put a complaint in. I don't know what you call a male Karen, Martin or something. I'd have been a Martin. Overall, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. I'm only going to knock one point off for the waitress at the start. Because the food and everyone else was, it was great. Uh, in fact, I call it a seven because the wait for the glass was just ridiculous. You shouldn't have to wait half an hour for a glass just to refill your drink. It's just a joke, but uh, so that's two points knocked off. The other point could be knocked off the playing Christmas songs and having Christmas decorations when it's still only November. It's far too early. Yeah, but it's definitely our goal to for Carvery's. Um, the ones in same side, you need to up your game. We went up to the bar as well, I forgot to say, when we was waiting for glasses. They asked for them there. The guy had given us, even though was apparently the reason we didn't have them because they were none left. And then he took them back off us and said, we'll have to wait. Joke, mate. <laughs>